Hi there, and in this video we're going to be taking a first look at the P3 smart speaker from Onkyo, as well as going through and setting the whole thing up for first use. So I think the first thing that we should do is actually take a look at the back of the unit and see what connections we have. Right at the top we have a power button, below that is a Wi-Fi button, then we have the reset button. Then below that there's a micro USB which is for service use only and also a normal size USB connection which is for things as such as a forced firmware update and then finally we have an auxiliary input and a variable output. These are on 3.5mm jacks so you can connect it to your TV, a cable box or satellite box or even a portable media device. And then finally right at the bottom we actually have your DC power connection. And then moving across to the front or the top of the unit there's four preset buttons which you could use for internet radio stations then we have a volume up and down a mute button which actually turns off the alexa microphones a play pause button and you don't actually need any other controls on the physical unit because everything's controlled via voice or the app I think now is a good time to actually run over some of the specifications of the Alexa P3 speaker by Onkyo. The P3 has actually got four drive units installed. Two of them are active, which are 63mm in diameter, and we have another two passive radiators. So you will always get a nice, rich, deep, powerful bass from such a small speaker. There's also a 3.5mm jack auxiliary input and a line variable output which you can run off to another system if you so desire but i think now is a good time that we go and do the setup you will need a smartphone to do the setup or a tablet in this case i'm using my iphone or alternatively you can use your android phone whatever that may be then you'll need to go to the app store and actually search for the correct app to be able to set up the P3 smart speaker. So if you just type in the search bar and hit Onkyo, you can then scroll through and actually find the correct app. Now for us, the app we actually need is the Onkyo Music Controller app, which has the Onkyo logo across the top and then the DTS Playfy just underneath. I thought I'd put the app logo up on the screen to make it easier for you to see which one it is that you need. And then it's just a simple case of downloading the app to your phone or tablet and then we can go on with the setup from there. Now the app's downloaded, we can go ahead and open it and get this thing rocking and rolling. The first part of the app setup is to agree to the license agreement and then whether you want to allow or not allow notifications from the app. The first part of the app is to do with Amazon Alexa. So this will actually tie into your Amazon Prime account to enable you to benefit from the voice control and the streaming. The first important part of the setup is the actual Wi-Fi connection. It will auto search and tell you whether it's actually found an existing device or whether it's a new search. So is your device one of these brands? Yes, it's the Onkyo P3. And then you need to select which specific model, which is the VCPX30. Now this part of the setup will actually give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on what you need to do with the unit and your Wi-Fi. A point to note is that in setup mode, the color ring around the top will spin around with a red light to tell you that it hasn't locked onto a network. But back to what we were doing, now we actually have to go into the settings side of your device and actually connect wirelessly directly with the P3 because at the moment it's actually generating its own wireless network so you can connect to it and complete the installation. And now that we're back into the Onkyo app we're actually using our smartphone which is connecting to the smart speaker which is then now wanting to connect to your wireless network so you just need to select your wireless network input the password and then allow the connection to take place now all we have to do is confirm the settings and then allow the p3 to actually connect to your wireless network 
Now it has successfully connected to your network. You then select a name. You can either put a custom name in or alternatively choose one of the defaults. Don't be alarmed or surprised if you see this sign come up. It means that there's an update available and we highly recommend you download it to make sure your P3 has the very, very latest firmware to give you the largest amount of options possible. The update's done, it will automatically drop into setting up your Amazon Alexa account, which is within your actual Amazon Prime account. Now it's very simple to do and it won't take more than a couple of moments. You just need to select your language and then you'll be taken to your Amazon account within the actual app. Then once you're actually within the Amazon account, you'll need to agree to some terms and conditions. Once you've agreed those, you'll be taken from your Amazon account back to the app and we're almost ready to go. The main home page of the app will actually display all of the connected rooms. So from here, we can actually make music selections directly out of the app. So depending whereabouts you are in the world will depend what music services you have available. Now I'm just scrolling through the pages here to actually show you what can be available. Also, if you want to play music that's within your phone directly, you can do that as well. And that will be the red icon with the musical note. It's going to ask for permission to access your music on your smart device, whether that's the phone or the tablet. And here's my list of music. I'm just going to select something at random and then start it playing. The first time you use the app, you'll actually be given coach points or help points. You can turn these off or alternatively, if you want to go into the tutorial, it's in the settings menu. And now the music's actually playing. It's also worth knowing that if you have two P3s in the same room, you can actually set them up for stereo sound for left and right. Also, the app is high res capable, so you do have the ability to play any high res tracks that you have on your phone or any other high res music services such as Tidal. Now back at the main home page and you can see that the previous track we were playing is there ready to continue if you want to. But the whole reason about this P3 smart speaker is the voice control. So I think it's about time that I give you a demonstration of Alexa helping me out. Alexa, what's the weather like today? It's 7 degrees with partly sunny skies. Today, you can expect clouds with a chance of showers, with a high of 7 degrees and a low of 3 degrees. Alexa, what's on at the cinema today? I found 111 movies today including The Death of Stalin, You Were Never Really Here, Showdown in Manila, and Gindama. Alexa, play Empire of the Clouds by Iron Maiden. Empire of the Clouds by Iron Maiden. Thanks for watching this video on the new Onkyo P3 smart speaker with built in voice assistant by Alexa. You can track us down on Twitter or find us on Facebook. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.